Hi, this is Katie. You guys, I am so tired today. I am so tired today. Um, if you watched my last couple of videos, you would know that I'm staying in a house in the Northeast for the winter. Um, and I actually have like my own room, my own bathroom and everything. And so there already is some stuff furnished there. Like there is a bed and dressers and stuff in the bedroom that I'm staying in already, but I wanted to buy like new sheets, new towels, new pillows, stuff like that. So I wanted to take you guys along with me. So this video is just gonna be like a little shopping trip of like what I'm buying for the house that I'm gonna be staying in for the next few weeks months and so I'm gonna go to home goods first and then I'm gonna go to Target and I'll take you guys a little bit around the stores with me and then I will like show you everything that I bought but yeah I'm excited but seriously I'm so tired <laughs> like I got here uh, two days ago but I drove like 15 hours in one day and I never drive that much in one day anymore like that just that I don't do that anymore I usually drive at most like eight or nine hours in one day but I drove 15 and that was two days ago. And then yesterday I like ran around all day. Um, and so today I think it's finally hitting me how tired I am from the drive the other day. But I really wanna go get some new stuff for my room. So anyway, yeah, if you are interested in this video, I really hope that you're subscribed and I hope that you keep watching. All right, so like I said, we're at Home Goods first. I will take a little bit of footage probably just on my phone. So if it's like bumpy or different, uh, it's because it's gonna be on my phone. I think here I'm mostly gonna be looking for sheets, pillows, towels, um, like a bath mat for the bathroom. And then Target is gonna just be more things like soap, a couple cleaning supplies, um, and potentially some organizational stuff if they don't have it here. So, okay, I'm kind of excited. I haven't done this in a while. And as much as I love like not having a lot of stuff, I'm excited to like have my skincare organized and stuff like that. So, all right, okay, let's just go. I'm so tired, <laughs> I'm so tired, but okay, let's go. Where do we go? And how do I take this slow? Something about those eyes, like fire, they burn so bright. It's the way that you shake your hips. Let me taste your lips. Oh, it's infatuation. Now I'm calling out, calling out for you. Hey guys, so first of all, that was the most decisive shopping that I've ever done in my entire life. Usually, if I was going to be buying something like a bath rug, like a bath mat, it would take me 45 minutes. This took me like 30 seconds. I don't understand what happened to me today, but I was so decisive, like making decisions real quick. So I bought a bunch of stuff. I bought almost everything that I need actually. At Target, really, I just need like hand soap, a couple cleaning supplies and that might be it. Um, everything else, obviously, again, because my friend lives there, so he has like everything else already. And then, you know, just week to week, month to month, the new cleaning supplies or the new paper towels or the new food, I'll get then. I'm just doing like the big first shop right now. And I got almost everything at Home Goods. Um, I got pillows. I also got sheets. I got these 2000 thread count. I don't know if thread count really matters, um, but it was just a queen sheet set and these were $40. But I like to get things like sheets and pillows and stuff at TJ Maxx or HomeGoods or Marshalls because generally you can get like better brands for a little bit cheaper. This is, uh, I don't even know what brand, Home something? Home Elements? I don't know, they're just white sheets. <laughs> I just wanted white sheets. I also got a mattress protector thing, like a little mattress pad thing. Um, like antimicrobial and stuff or antibacterial. And then I also got a comforter. This is Vince Camuto down alternative, just white comforter. I really wanted like all white mostly. And this was $39.99, which I thought was pretty good for like a regular kind of comforter. And then I also got, uh, that's really it for the bedroom. That's really all I needed. Again, it's already mostly furnished. I just wanted to get these types of things. So that's really it for the bedroom. And then um, for, the bathroom, I got this like pack of towels, which I thought was uh, a really good deal because some of the other white towels that I looked at, I hope these don't shed. I hate, oh no. 
Hmm. I might have to go back and get different ones. Never mind. I was looking at one's bath towels that were $10 each and they were Kate Spade, which is an expensive brand. So I was gonna get two of those and then two hand towels uh, that were like $7 each. Then I found this set for 25, two bath towels, two hand towels and two uh, washcloths for 25. And I was like, oh, I'll get that instead. They're white, they're nice. But one of my biggest pet peeves is when towels shed and these shed. So I will probably go back and return these and get the Kate Spade ones. <laughs> That's okay. I wish I checked it in the store. It's hilarious because I checked the Kate Spade ones to see if they shedded. Shed. What's the past tense of shed? Is it shed? Shedded. I checked the Kate Spade ones, so why didn't I check these? What is wrong with me? Dang it. All right, not a big deal. Um, all right, so I'll probably end up returning those, but just get other white towels. And also for the bathroom, I got this thing to hold um, like toilet paper, my skincare, just extra bath stuff. And this was $29.99, which I thought was a pretty decent deal. They had this in like a bright silver too, but I opted for this like darker color. And then the last thing for the bathroom that I got was this bath mat that I'm also not 100% sold on, but I did not want a white bath mat. That was like the one thing I did not want white because I feel like that would just get gross. Um, and so I got this like blue and white one. This was $14.99. The brand, I don't know, Heritage Home. And it's just like like yarn, obviously. But I was, while I was in line, and that line was very long, I waited in line for a very long time. But uh, while I was in line, I was thinking, oh wait, do I actually want a um, memory foam one? So when I return the towels, I'm not gonna do that today because I have a towel that I can use for the time being, but I just wanted to get some new ones. But I'm gonna think about this and potentially return this as well and get a memory foam bath mat, potentially, not 100%. And then, the last couple things I got were for the kitchen. I got just some cutting boards, $5.99 for a pack of four of the plastic ones. I know there's a lot of like, oh, the plastic ones aren't good, or oh no, bamboo's not good, or the wood isn't good because it seeps in stuff. I don't know, man. I got the plastic ones. I don't know. They're BPA free and I think. Are you? Uh-oh. No. I don't like that. These might go back to, dang it! I thought I did so well. I thought I did so well. Um, anyway. I also got some cutting knives. This comes with a paring knife, a something utility knife, and a chef's knife, and a peeler for $7.99. So I thought that was a great deal. And then I got this. Actually, I might use this in the bathroom. I'm not totally sure, but this is Heritage Living All-Purpose Storage Bin, just like a plastic storage bin for $9.99. Why are plastic storage bins so expensive? Boggles my mind. Um, but speaking of, I got this one for the kitchen. This one was $4.99. This was a lot cheaper. And this is from the brand Bino? 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 Bino. Bino. And this is for like fruits and vegetables and it actually has like a little strainer thing inside of it. And there's even like a vent on top, depending if you're using vegetables or fruit to like open the vent or close the vent. It says open vent for vegetables and close it for fruit. So this is BPA free and freezer safe. And yeah, so I got this. And the last thing that I got was a, speaking of fruit, a fruit little basket thing. That's just metal and white-ish. And this was $3.99. Can't beat that. So, okay, I <laughs> I love earlier, I was like, this was the fastest I've ever gone shopping in my whole life, but I'm gonna have to return a couple things. That's okay, that happens. Not a big deal, but I will probably do that tomorrow because now I want to go to Target just to get, again, just a couple things and then go back to the house because I'm hungry and it's 11.30 and I haven't eaten yet today and I'm a hungry girl. So um, yeah, but I will return the towels and then I really, um, I, oh, what is on me? Is this from the towels? Can you see? I have like fuzz all over me now, probably from the towels. <laughs> but if I just return those for the Kate Spade white ones and the two hand towels. So it is more expensive, but I do not like when things fluff. I actually, should I go back right now while I'm here? Uh, I don't know yet. These I might return because uh, usually I check to make sure that things are BPA free and these don't say it. Is that a real thing I need to be worrying about? I'm not entirely sure. I don't know. But anyway, and then this, um, I can't tell yet. Um, yeah. All right. I'm going to run back in the store. I decided I'm going to run back in the store now and then go to Target and then go home, home. It's like, okay, this I'll talk more about in a more of like a mindset update, mental health update video, but I know that where I'm staying right now is temporary. It is definitely temporary where I'm staying. I don't know exactly how long, probably between three and six months, but even though I know it's temporary, 
I want to kind of tell my brain that it's like okay to like relax there you know and like think of it as home for the few months that I'm gonna be there because a lot of the times that I've traveled or stayed somewhere really temporary I wouldn't think of it as home I would think of it as oh, I'm going back to my friend's house or going back to my dad's house or something you know and so now I kind of just want to do like a brain experiment for myself and actually properly think of this as home for a few months and see see how that makes me feel and just you know kind of uh, see what that does to my brain so I am gonna call it home but it is temporary so just to let you guys know anyway gonna go back in the store I'll talk to you guys after Target okay so <laughs> went back into home goods to return those few things and then just like repurchase replacements right so I went to um, go look for the towels that I literally saw 20 minutes earlier um, and they were gone <laughs> The ones I wanted to replace these with were gone. The ones that I had in my hand at first and then decided against it were gone. Literally within like the 20 minutes someone else purchased them. So, <laughs> And then I did not find any other cutting boards or bath mats that I liked. So I ended up just returning those few things. So I'm just basically going to hopefully find those things at Target when I go there right now. So I just thought it was so funny. <laughs> like I went back in there and I was like, oh, the towels are literally gone already. I thought that was so funny. Um, anyway, all right, I'll talk to you uh, after Target. Hey guys, all right, first of all, my car is packed, completely packed, but I actually think that I got like most of the things that I need right now. So on my way to Target from Home Goods, I found a Marshalls and I'm like, let me go in there and look for towels and stuff because certain things are just a little bit of a better value at a place like Marshalls, Home Goods, or TJ Maxx. And so before I went to Target, I wanted to look for towels again. And dun, 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 I found, oh, come on, try to make a big reveal here. <laughs> I found some towels. <laughs> These are DKNY. They were $8.99 each. It's like big white bath towels. They don't seem to be very fluffy, a little bit. Uh, maybe they're all fluffy before you wash them. I don't know, but they seem to be good. I hope, I don't know. <laughs> I don't want to shop anymore, honestly. But no, these seem to be good. Just hopefully they're not fluffy even after I wash them. I also got two matching hand towels, just white. And I may have said earlier that when I buy bath mats or whenever I think about bath mats, I never really want to get white because in my head it's like, oh, like they might get grimy. Yeah, well, I take that back <laughs> because I bought these. This was a pack of two, come on, pack of two. Um, Hotel Vendome bath collection. I don't know. The pack of two was $19.99, which is not bad at all. Let me put you down. Why am I holding you? Is the lighting horrible? I don't know. Hi. Okay. So I also got these bath mats and it came in a pack of two. I was really only thinking of getting one, but the two pack was 20 bucks and uh, that's pretty good, especially winter in the Northeast bathroom tile floor so now I can just cover half of the bathroom with these bath mats I like them because they're like like I like this texture it's like bubbly I like it I like it um so I got all that at Marshall's I also got this um just like little Tupperware set when I chop up fruit or when I make you know a giant batch of chili or something I did not end up getting cutting boards I forgot to look when I was at Target but um Again, I'm sure my friend has them. Like, he lives there. <laughs> I'm just trying to buy, like, extra stuff for me. But, obviously, like, there's already a lot of stuff at the house because he already lives there. Okay, but then I did go to Target, and I got... Wasn't I carrying something else? I thought I was carrying something else, or did I put everything in here? No, maybe I just had this bag. I got tissues. Ooh, ah. Oh, duh. This is the other thing that I was carrying. I got this, like, bin thing. I don't know if I need it, but... Uh, maybe if not I'll return it it's okay um, but this was 15 which is a little bit expensive for this but I thought it was really cute they had a bigger one that was 20 but I was like I don't know this was more of an impulse buy <laughs> this was like the one impulse buy and it was a bin um, but I want to be organized so that might be helpful I don't know I also got some multi-surface cleaning wipes and I also got where are you where are you oh right here right in front of my face I also got some disinfecting spray and I got some sponges. Okay, next I got, this is a repurchase because I'm almost out, the seventh generation uh, laundry detergent. And this is super concentrated. They literally say ultra concentrated laundry detergent. This whole thing is 66 loads. 
So this is actually also good if you are living in a car, living in a van, traveling, um, because obviously those like really big jugs of laundry detergent take up a lot of space, but this is super concentrated, so you don't need a ton, and it takes up less space. So I got one of those, because I almost ran out, and uh, a loofah. And this is another repurchase. This is the Raw Sugar Natural Lip Balm. And then I also got just some hand soap, just like a regular, the Up and Up brand. All right, but that is it. So now I'm gonna go back to the house, eat, because I'm hungry. It's one o'clock. Your girl's hungry. Um, but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed this little like shop with me video for my new house. Please make sure that you're subscribed because I'm gonna have a ton of like Northeastern content in the fall and winter. The Northeast, if you've never been up here, a lot of the cities and towns are very close together. Like New York City and Boston are only like a three hour drive away from each other. Um, and then going from like Boston to Maine is only like another, I don't even know, maybe four hours, five hours, I guess depending where you're going in Maine. But like there's a lot of easy day trips or two day trips or train rides, bus rides, like um, public transportation around here. And so I want to be like doing a bunch more traveling in the Northeast because I don't think I've ever really shown you guys like Massachusetts or like New Hampshire or Vermont. And again, I'm probably not gonna tell you exactly where I am while I'm here. I kinda wanna keep a little bit of privacy. So if for some reason you can guess, please don't say it in the comments. Like I really wanna keep some privacy. But I'm in the Northeast. A lot of things are very, very close together. And so I wanna like take you guys along with me. Like I wanna go on more day trips, road trips around here because I haven't even really explored a ton of the Northeast. And so I wanna explore it and then I wanna show you guys. So I really hope that you're subscribed for some like home content, but also some like Northeast travel content. So yeah, make sure that you're subscribed. Subscribe and follow me on Instagram too, because sometimes I do like more daily updates over there. And sometimes I'll tell you guys something on Instagram before I will tell YouTube. Like Instagram found out a couple days earlier that I was in the Northeast. So just letting you guys know if you want to know some stuff a little bit earlier go follow me on instagram it's just katie carney over there but yeah this outro is very very long so i'm gonna go thank you so much for watching i hope that you enjoyed and i hope that you have a wonderful day i love you jesus loves you and i'll talk to you later bye